Let's move on. Let's talk about Bo Nix. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oregon fans. First of all, we love you guys. You guys were really good to us the last couple of days. So we're going to give you another shot to hype up this video. Give it your likes. Let us know if you agree with us in the comments. Subscribe, maybe. You guys are super awesome. I'm sure you guys are going to disagree with me here, you Oregon fans, but I don't think Bo Nix is a first-round quarterback. I don't think – he doesn't have a first-round grade for me, and I don't think he goes in the first round, which is crazy. But it, oh, but he so could go in the first round. That's the thing. Like, There's a lot of, it's a lot of quarterback needy teams and not enough quarterbacks to go around. So it could be a necessity thing, like that they just that he just goes in the first round. But I, I personally believe like, like if Will Levis went in the second round last year, now that every draft year is different. It's hard to compare draft years, right? Like things fly off the board differently. There's different trades. Like I don't know. Bo Nix is the most experienced quarterback in college football history. So you know you are getting someone that is experienced. You're getting someone that that produced pretty well. I don't know if I'm drafting him to stretch the ball down the field necessarily, but I'm drafting him to conduct and orchestrate an offense, which I believe that he can do. So it depends what you like. It depends what you want. For me, I don't have a first-round grade on him, and I don't think he will go in the first round. Very good football player, though, by the way. Very good football player. Here's what I'll say. I, I, I agree with you in some aspects here. I do think like if Mac Jones and Josh Rosen can go in the top 15 – Right, I do think there's a spot for Bo Nix. Okay, okay. Even I, I if think it Josh is Rosen QB is the arm talent. Six. Josh Rosen had way better arm talent and the height and weight measurables. And then if you look at Mac Jones, he orchestrated what's arguably the first or second greatest offense that we've ever seen at the collegiate football level. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, that's true. But Bo Nix also like completion percentage stats. Like he also well, Mac Jones stretched that. Mac Jones stretched the ball down the field. Like it wasn't like I get, oh yeah, that, I get that. Was, it, there was some definitely definitely some rack factor there with some some of those bubble screens of Devonta Smith. I mean, I I can just remember a couple in the national championship game alone in the yeah. first half. But yeah, it, it's hard to compare apples to oranges, right? I agree, but I just want to say, like, to put some precedent out there. Like, there are quarterbacks who are obviously limited in terms of not like like physical upside. Like, there's a reason why Bo Nix is not in the same category as Caleb Williams or Drake May or Jaden Daniels, even or even JJ McCarthy with his arm. Like, there's limitations to what he can do on a football field, but that doesn't cap him as a quarterback in the NFL. Like, you've seen guys in the last 15 years don't have maybe an A plus arm. But are really, really, really good. And I would, I, I kind of want to throw Joe Burrow in there. Like I don't, I don't think Joe Burrow has an elite arm at all. I think he's got a good arm, right? But what makes him so good is he knows where to go with the football every time. And when the play breaks down, he is really, really good. And I thought Bo Nix did a great job in year five of college football. Really, when the play broke down, he played in structure, right? Like for two years there at Oregon, he did a really good job playing in structure. Kenny Dillingham first. And obviously this past year, like he did really good job. But when it broke down, you saw some of that frisky, you know, back to Bo Nix, SEC, that Auburn, where he was just making plays, backyard football, and doing some fun things. I do think there's some value in that. I don't know if he's a first-round grade for me, but I do think he's probably going to – I don't know, man. His over on his third year. Are you going to have him in your mock draft is the question. I think I might. I think I might. And I, if I'm a team that, like, trades up – like if I'm the Raiders and I don't want to take him at 13 from the Broncos or, you know, pick your team, even Seattle, right? Or even the Dolphins, or I guess the Dolphins just paid Tua. But if you're a team that, you know, I don't know if I have my quarterback future, like trade back up in the first round or take him there. Make sure you get your guy, get that fifth year um, with Bo Nix. And also like, he's kind of fun. He also, he starts to feel back at Auburn. Like those Seth Williams pass, like he had some nice, nice time down the field. I think he can do it. Um, I would say yeah. it's tough though. Six QBs, five QBs in the first rounds, and we've seen it before. But all those guys are bust except Trevor Lawrence in that that one that twenty twenty draft. I get it was so different far. COVID, yeah, so far, yeah, all that. I mean, Fields got traded for a six round pick. 
Mac Jones got traded. Trey Zach Lance Wilson got traded. Got, Zach Wilson, Wilson just got, got traded. Trade. So it's that's it's great. tough tough sled in there. So I chances are two of three of the five guys are probably gonna bust, you know, and more than likely maybe four. So we'll see here. But yeah, I pull Nick's maybe not maybe I maybe the first or second round grade, but he's also like on that tier where like I would not be mad if the right team comes up and trades for him in that first round, similar to a Xavier Worthy, where he's like probably gonna go in the first round. And the team and the fit matters. And what you want and when you ask of him is going to matter. But in the right circumstance, right situation, he could thrive. Absolutely. Yeah, like people are saying, oh, he would fit great in Sean Payton offense. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I 1,000% agree with you. But not 12. But, uh, here's the thing, though. Like, if Sean Payton really likes him, he'll get him, you know? Yeah, you like, could trade down, the- though. I, if the board falls around, I guess, but... Maybe I don't know. I don't know. You'll see. You'll see because, like, what if I don't know? What if the Giants want to trade back, and you know they think they want to get Bo Nix, you know, in that mid first round? You know, if they tra- I, so many stuff, so much stuff could happen. You know, I I think the Giants would really like him. if he was available in the second round. I think the Giants would for sure take him in that second loop around. Uh, if they miss on those top four, top three quarterbacks, but Bo Nix, good player. We'll, we'll see where he goes. Uh, so are you definitive? First or second round on Bo Nix? Because you got to make a decision. Because that's where we're answering this. That's the question that we're answering this video. I said second, second. Second round grade, second round pick. First or second round grade, give me first round pick. Come Thursday, he'll be a first rounder off the board. You heard it here. 